So how is it going everyone? Welcome to some more uh, Not another needle game Which, you know, something that I noticed about this game is the logo Which is literally a red ball And I don't know why Like it has... I'm pretty sure I haven't uh, found a red ball yet in the game So I don't know if it is like a placeholder icon or something and they didn't even bother to put an icon in it or if it's an inside show that I don't get but that's not important what's important now is that this is a pain in the ass this secret right here here's the thing right stage 2 already had a secret that was a pain in the ass right this one is a stage 3 secret, right? So... This is... yeah... Gonna be quite something... The worst part about this is something that... Probably you don't notice at first, but basically... In this stage... You cannot... Basically reuse those blue arrows, right? Once you step on one, it won't respawn. So it means that you have to... You have to reserve some of this for when you want to come back. That's... Oh, that's... okay. That was a mistake. So you have to jump from there straight to the question mark. Okay. Okay. You know why? Why I even die there if I can just restart? But that's fine. Sometimes I, I just forget that I can restart without dying. It's pretty hard to remember for some reason. You can restart at any time, and in fact, I just check. It doesn't count as a dead. Like if I restart here, it doesn't count as a dead. So, yeah. I mean, at this point I don't really care about the dead counter, but... The good thing about this is that it lets, it lets you choose which one you want to go for first, right? Which is pretty nice. Okay, so that's the first one. Obviously the one that you have to leave for last is the one on the right, well, which is in reality is the one on the center, right? But yeah, that one is the one you have to leave for last. The other three though, you can get in whatever order you want. I don't know about this. have to avoid every... every blue arrow here. Maybe this might be worth doing first, because it might be a little bit more challenging. Maybe, yeah. So for this one, for example, you have to keep the the lower arrow intact. You, you can't you can run into it. You're supposed to do like a short hop into a double jump and then go up. Well, the good thing, or at least I hope that after this. There is a save point. And the worst part is that at the end of that, like once you get rid of the door, there is another champ that doesn't look easy to do. Looks pretty, pretty tight. And it's gonna be a pain in the ass, because that means that you have to do it perfectly after you're done with this. So I assume that at least after that, there's gonna be a save point. Or at least I wanna think that. Because otherwise it's just gonna be a pain in the ass. Also, what about this one though? So you're supposed to double jump in the middle. You have to leave one of the arrows intact. Okay. Let's try to do that one now. Not like that. Worst part is that you have to do this, as I say, all of this perfectly. If you screw up, 
it's all like you have to start all over again. Okay, and this so far looks pretty hard to do. The one on the like right here, the one below. It looks pretty hard. I mean, it's already hard to not get killed by the spikes on your way down. Yeah, this is definitely one of those things that is way harder than it looks. Because, you know, when you see everything in this screen, in only one screen, right? It doesn't look that bad. But I can assure you that yeah, this is uh, a pretty big pain in the ass. And again, you have to do all of this in one go. I also want to practice, like, getting back up, right? Because obviously, once you're here and you collect these two yellow dots, you want to be able to get back. So to do that, you have to double jump here. <sighs> Damn. It is pretty tough. I mean, after all, the secrets in this game are really, really tough. Oh, wait, what? Oh, seems like I'm having some uh, internet issues, but hopefully they aren't that bad. That's a, oh, at least what I can hope. So that's how you're supposed to do it. Problem is, you're supposed to do that after doing those two platforming sections, right? So... Fuck. Yeah, it's like... It's really gonna take a long... A pretty long time to do perfectly. Because that's pretty much what it is, you have to do this all perfectly. If you, you know, screw up once, it's basically starting from the beginning all over again. Team, and you know, that part, like this part right here, you know, it's not only hard to do it once, because you have to do it like jump in here and then double jump in here but you also when you come back you have to have enough height to be able to get to this one which is the, the second one right there ah uh, damn it it's just ridiculous I know that probably if you're like a new player or something, you're really not supposed to do this kind of shit, right? You're supposed to just keep the secrets and probably get them in your second playthrough or something, but... I mean... I don't want there to be a second playthrough, so... If I beat the game, I wanna beat it... without needing to play it again. I know that also this has like... Uh, ranks for every stage, right? Depending on how fast or how many deaths you have. But yeah, that's something that I won't care about. But when it comes to this kind of stuff that apparently is also gonna be useful for later to unlock new levels, or I don't know what, what the secrets do, but apparently there are something. Yeah, you wanna get them. Well, there's also the fact that even if they didn't do anything, this is still, like, part of the game in the sense that this is our, you know, levels, so... I like how I can get to the, to the upper one when I don't want to get to the upper one. It's amazing. Just 
It seems that I haven't done... Have I done it once even? I don't think I have done that part even once. Okay, well, there you go. That's at least once. Yeah, and now try to do the other one on the left. Oh, damn it, yes. This, this is really, really gonna be a pain, yes. Okay. Wow. Nice start. I forgot you're supposed to do a short hop first and then the double jump to do this. Wow. Okay. At least that one is easier than the one here, which is the reason why I feel like doing it like doing this one right here first than the other one should be a better idea. Because if you screw up, well at least it's the first one, but here if you screw up, which is probably gonna happen more often, you have to redo the other uh, part over and over again. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like doing this one first is definitely the best option. Obviously the problem is that after this you also have to worry about getting the rest like this one It's been a while since I practiced this one so maybe pretty bad I wanna make sure that at the very least I know how to do them Yeah, that, that one is not that bad but then again you have to get it when it matters Ah, that one right there is beautiful. Wonder if the best idea is to try and do a short hop or what? Yeah, it probably is. It probably is a better idea to try to short hop the first jump. And probably the second jump as well, at least for the first. Oh, come on. Also check. Okay, everything is running fine. Okay. Well, there you go. And there it goes. Nice. Uh, it's pretty frustrating, right? Because once you thought that you had it, turns out you didn't. You didn't have it. Uh, you complete one and then you die on the next one. Uh, damn it. That's something that I felt like this. This game has a lot. Basically, like constantly mocking your progress, right? I don't know. I know that it feels like I'm re trying really hard to trash on the game, right? But I really fail to see too much positives on this game. Sadly. Uh, I mean, I wish I could, but... 
doesn't seem like it's that easy. Okay. Now you have to <laughs> go back. And like at this exact time that you get that left arrow, you have to go right. And then instantly shun because otherwise you die. Doing that every time. First try is gonna be a piece of shit. And then, just in case, you should probably do a triple jump when you get to the platform. In case, you know, the game decides to not pick you up. Then you have to go here. And holy shit, what's wrong with the internet? Like, it just goes to straight to zero for a couple of seconds in, in, in when it comes to the upstream, right? It doesn't make any sense, holy shit. It's like not even when it's supposed to work fine, like right now, it doesn't even fully work fine. It, it just kinda works, right? Holy shit, dude. Again, asking for a decent connection in a place like this is too much. It's just too much. I guess some people just get blessed with the place they are in. They just get a good connection every time. <laughs> I don't know. It really is a matter of luck. At least it seems that that one is something that I can do consistently. Okay. So now there is this one. You know, the worst part is that I also haven't practiced the, the last one, but that's fine. Uh, really? Wait, what? Why did that happen? Oh, because you're supposed to do a short hop. So it's a short hop after you get it. And I guess short hops there too because Yeah, if you jump too high you get hit by the ceiling. You don't want that to happen. Damn, it seems like this one is gonna cost me now. This is the one that's gonna be hard now. It seems like it is. Wow. Well... You know, when, when I say never th uh, take things for granted, never thought it would apply to some platforming sections. Holy shit. Yeah, definitely you want to do the middle one first. Although, this one, I want to practice this one too. Just to not get disappointed when I get fucked up. Okay, it doesn't look hard. This initial jump looks a little bit hard though. Although... Well, maybe not. Right? Like, the, the initial jump... It seems like you don't even have to be that precise. The problem is the second jump. You have to make sure you pick it before you double jump. But it seems like this one is gonna be easy to do. As long as I remember that that last jump has to be made like this. If I can remember that, I should be fine. Although obviously, if I actually get that far, and like I, I collect everything else and the only one left is that one, Probably gonna be so nervous that I'm gonna f fuck it up like that. Okay, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a, a pretty good demonstration of, of what's probably gonna happen. I think you have to delay it a little bit to do the, the double jump here. 
yeah, kind of like delay it a little bit and then do this. That's the, the point. Uh, okay, so for that, it's gonna be a pain in the ass, as I said before. But it's just getting that one run. Although at the very least, I gotta say that at least this stage has movement. Yeah, I know, it's not that much because the only thing that you see moving are these shears here and, you know, these arrows, I guess. Well, you could say that this is moving too, but... You know, at least it's not that dual. It's still dual because everything else is grey. I don't know what's your fetish with the grey color. I don't know, I really don't know, but holy shit, at least you see some stuff moving, right? So, it's still dual, but it could be worse. I understand that this is supposed to be like a facility portal style, I get that, but I mean, you really can't compare something like this to portal, right? <laughs> because obviously the ambience that you can replicate in a game like portal is something that you're gonna struggle with a lot more in a game like this. And, you know, just making everything race and really gonna represent the portal atmosphere just like that, <laughs> right? to get back there okay so now I have to do the question mark okay. oh fuck you okay at least that was close that was close right with that one the only thing left will be doing this well, yeah, and unless I screw that up, like I did right there, and there, right? Unless that happened, that will have been it. So at least I can, I can see that I'm getting closer. Still far, you know, one of those beautiful sayings apply here, right? So close, yet so far, it's indeed true. really and here's the thing I don't even know if I should blame internet or not you know basically two days ago I'm gonna try to ping Google just to see although I don't think this really tells me much because obviously pinging is something that you can do with not much bandwidth left right so it's not really I mean it's a good indicator to know if you're not literally running out of bandwidth right but it's not really that much of a good indicator for much else. Uh, and, you know, as I said, like, I feel three or... no, five days ago, right? Five days ago I can tell that it was definitely my internet's fault, right? But right now, I don't know, because if it was my internet fault, Whenever the the upstream reaches zero, 
I should also basically run out of upstream, I, I, I assume, right? I wouldn't be able to do anything else. But, you know, sometimes I also remember that when that happened five days ago, the upstream will also reach zero, like, a lot of times in OBS. But I could continue ping, like, I could continue to ping whoever I was pinging, right? So, I feel like it has to be my ISP fault. But it's so hard to confirm which one is at fault that... I don't even know how to do it in a, in a way that reliably tells me who is at fault. I mean, obviously, my... My ISP is trash, that's something that I already knew, but... I don't know, I don't feel like Twitch is that innocent, right? Like, especially considering that... As I say multiple times, they have only two inch servers for South America, and the two of them are in Brazil. Which is, as I say also before, one of the worst countries when it comes to telecommunications uh, infrastructure. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this. It's not over because of this shump. I don't even know what, what I need to do. And the worst part is that you can't practice this without, you know, unlocking everything else. Holy fuck, this is gonna be trash. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. If I do probably something like this, like a short hop like this, probably not so short, something like this can probably work. But And at the end, you're probably supposed to do a really, really short hop. Okay, okay, okay. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? I don't know, I, I feel like the, the way this game works, it's constantly mocking your progress. I mean, sometimes quite literally with the narrator, but other times I feel like this. Like, no matter how much progress you do, it doesn't matter. Un unless you can do it perfectly. Or maybe I'm just looking for reasons to hate the game. I don't know. It's pretty hard to tell. <laughs> okay. Wow. I don't know why, as soon as I picked that blue thing, I instantly died. It seems like I was jumping too low. Dying to that shitty spike. Okay, let me practice that. Cause that's okay. Oh, so what's the problem here? Why am I dying to this? Like right there, right? Okay. So at least I've been able to replicate it. If you do a short hop, it's gonna be pretty probable for you to die. 
So I don't quite get what's the... I guess it's just really precise, right? Like you have to do not a short hop, but at the same time it hasn't it doesn't have to be a full jump. And then you have to wait enough so you don't hit the upper spikes like that. So this is definitely some pretty tight platforming right there. And that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Really, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Okay. So here, this is the real test. Jump like this. And then a short, a really short hop at the end. That's the point. I guess you have to do short hops all the way. But holy shit, it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. I guess you just have to wait enough. Like, you have to be low enough to be able to jump without getting hit by the upper spikes. That was pretty fast. I'm too early there. <clears throat> Are you serious? I'm jumping too late, it seems. Sometimes. Some other times I'm jumping early. But. Well, yeah, I guess that's kind of the point. You have to jump at the. like a pretty precise time. Oh wow, that's the first time that happens. Are you serious? Who did that even happen? And it happened again. Holy shit, that's the first time. Like the first time that I don't get killed by the spikes. But I pick that blue thing. Holy fuck, so that's also a danger of this jump. So if you do it too short, that's gonna happen. Like this. So you have to do it have to go way more to the right then. I, I thought that that jump was trivial enough, it seems like it, it isn't. Big mistake, thinking that it was trivial.
At least I'm getting better at, at those. Like when I say those, I mean this at the at the bottom. Obviously, there's still a bit more to go to perfect them, but yeah, I'm doing fine. At least I gotta say that the design of this level, even if I feel like it really mocks progress, is, you know, well done in the sense that, like, how much shit you can fit in only one screen and make it really hard. at the same time feel original enough I guess it's pretty nice oh, I should have jumped again there I never expect to to jump there because the most the majority of times I don't even need to There, it seems that it was useful to jump again. Wow, nice. Guess I'll be dying to that. And the worst part about this is that even if I know that after I beat this, the next thing is gonna be easy. Uh, sorry. I meant to say the opposite thing. Even if I beat this, I know that the next thing is probably gonna be even harder than this. I don't know why my brain decided to say that the next thing was gonna be easy. I basically was thinking the exact opposite thing. So the plan is short hops. Except for the first one, maybe. There we go. Nice. Whew. Nice, nice. I like that. So, what am I supposed to do here? I don't like that warp being there. Because... It feels like it's gonna be really easy to hit the warp without hitting the golden spike. So apparently, I have to get these two things. 
Oh, and that closes. So you have to do all of this in one go. Oh, you have to do the first one first. Uh, sorry, the, I meant to say the upper one first. Okay. Damn, and you have to really manage your gravity really well right there. I wonder what the question mark does. Because if it is a warp, like, if the question mark is always gonna be a warp, it means that there's one more screen after this. Like, at least one more screen. And that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? I don't quite get it. I don't think I get it. Because if I use that uh, blue thing right there, it's the same as nothing. Because it means that I run out of shumps, right? Like, I, I literally r run out of shumps. Like, basically, what I'm trying to say is that I have to have two shumps there. Like one there and one once I pick this, which is still pretty hard to do. Like that, wow, and even then it's pretty hard. You have to barely pick it up like that. That's what you're supposed to do. Problem is, if I want to pick the one up there, I don't think I can. Because, here's the thing, right? If I jump here, I don't think I can jump from here to here in only one jump. I don't think you can do that. And then the problem is, if I do two jumps, like I do one here and then one here... Like, I'm gonna use another one to pick the, the yellow orb, and then I have no shumps left, which means that getting this is impossible. So maybe what I'm supposed to do is do a double shump to get this, and then on my way down pick this up. Because if that's the case, that's pretty hard. Who the fuck do you even do that? Because it seems that every time I'm gonna hit that upper spike right there. I don't think I get this. Because, you know, as I say, the normal thing will be thinking that, right? But if you do that, you're out of shumps, and if you're out of shumps, you can't get up there. Oh, never mind, I just noticed something. I just noticed this. I, for I, I, I didn't see that there was a platform here. <laughs> And then you get up. Actually, let's practice this. Getting up. Probably... Yeah, like that. You have to do a pretty short jump. At first, then a double jump. Let's, let's try that again. Like, short jump? Yeah, like that. Okay. Well, it isn't that hard. But you have to basically pick the the lower orb in a pretty like when you're falling which is pretty high speed and at the same time landing on that platform without getting hit by a spike so at well, the very least I know that I can do this which is a relief it honestly doesn't look so hard Probably I'm wrong, but it doesn't look that hard. At least this part. I don't know what comes afterwards, right? But at least this one part doesn't look hard. You also have to be careful not to pick up the blue thing. Doing that turn is gonna be... Okay, there we go. Okay, so now that we are here, 
I assume that I have to go up because if I go down there's nothing there's no way to get there it's still pretty hard this seems pretty hard you're supposed to show diagonally but okay so the only thing I need to do there is control myself to not go too much to the right and then use the double champ to get to the question mark okay at least I know what to do it may be a little bit hard to to execute though nice okay so basically that removes that so I gotta get the golden spike and then get to the ward. But before that I have to jump through these blue arrows. Nice, I did it too late. Okay. Well, in all honesty, I hope I'm not wrong, but this doesn't look hard. Or at least not as hard as the previous one. Like this, this shit right here is really hard. But this one... So far, unless there is a gimmick in the middle, doesn't look so hard. I can't stop. Like, if I stop, I'm not gonna reach it. Have to keep going. Okay. have to use the double jump actually I might be able to even no probably not no never mind I was gonna say I might be able to skip the first arrow below there but no it doesn't seem like like I can ah damn it <laughs> too low Yeah, the thing about this screen is, it doesn't look hard, and even if it is hard, it doesn't look... Like, it looks fun. That's one of the first times I used that word to refer to this game. But this screen looks good. Maybe it's just the fact that it's easier than the rest, but... Okay, so after this, the jump has to be probably a short hop to jump this and then to the left another uh, jump nice Whew. we got it this is this is jump 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 and a lot of jumps okay well at least we got the secret damn that was easier than the world 2 secret okay I don't have to use the double sham there. But before that, let me check something real quick. Yeah, internet really... When your internet is trash, it really be, uh, turns you into a... Uh, what's the word when you are constantly checking something? Uh, I forgot the name of that word. Like when some someone is constantly checking something just to make sure I don't think it's maniac, right? Or or is it well, I don't know which word it is, but yeah, it's turning me into that. <laughs> okay, 
because you know I really wanna make sure especially when it's something hard like like this right when you're playing something as hard as this you really want to make sure everything is getting streamed okay you don't have to wait why why will I want to oh never mind I, I really need to get that one okay this doesn't look this hard apparently oh that switch seems that it's not instantaneous so like at the end right there so you're probably supposed to double shun before you get to the portal obviously you're supposed to double shun after you hit the switch that's the the point yeah the thing to me that I also wanted to say right I probably already kind of say that the fact that at least in this part you have like these shears that are moving in the background even if it's just like something really minor right doesn't really make that much of a difference I feel like having something alive in the background greatly improves like the like my will to you know play right which is something that wasn't there on the first two stages the first two stages were literally nothing other than you know blocks and needles at least here you have some nice background action with the shears which is still you know not that much but it's something halfway there I'm surprised that you, you made it this far yeah, we're literally halfway there, since there are supposed to be a hundred floors, this is the halfway. And it looks pretty hard too. I guess they really wanted to commemorate this as being the halfway point. Damn. You're, you, and you really have to... Have to remember like how hard the gravity is here like you fall really fast wait what's the trick here oh double jump drop jump same the tree force is below right here the tree force so it's not golden, but it looks like the tree force. You gotta say that combining normal spike with tiny spikes is a little bit weird. It's kind of like I don't know. It just looks weird. <laughs> definitely supposed to there, there we go so here what about this can I do this on a single jump like if I do oh I wanted to to see if I could you know jump three blocks but I died before I could try it should have probably tried it in the tree force speaking of tree force though no, I was supposed to be playing like a, a lot of the Zelda games, like I, at first I started playing them and then I just stopped, like I just completely stopped playing them. I, I play the first three and then, well I guess you could also say that I'm waiting for Link's Awakening Remaster to come out, if it hasn't come out that is. I think it comes out in September, right? To play them. Okay, so can I do this on a single jump is my question. Yes, I can, nice. Backtracking fun. Yeah, backtracking is pretty fun. Except that it's not, but... 
Okay, so basically I have to do this part without touching... Like this first part without touching any... Any of these arrows. Hmm, I wonder how I can do that jump. Oh, a single jump works. That one is gonna be... Wow, wait, what? Well, I assume that that switch is gonna do something to make me be able to go back because if I pick... Yes, if I pick the blue arrows there, it's just gonna be impossible. Okay. So I need to pick to pick it to, to go, so... Okay, well at least that one goes away, so what I'm supposed to do here is like do a double jump to get to that blue arrow and then go uh, all the way to the left. Still a little bit hard though, but it's doable. Wait, why? Oh, never mind, I was gonna say something really stupid. It was like, why did the save move? It didn't move, it was always there. So here, nice. Platform status topped. Piece of shit. You got shibated yet again. So I wonder if I'm supposed to let some of this in place. Problem is that I feel like these platforms are really bad to do platforming, right? Because the thing with these platforms is that once you're in, they kind of like eat one of your shumps. So, which is the reason why they are used to, to do infinite shumping, right? Because you can basically keep shumping and the platform will eat that shump. Okay. Well, that doesn't look that bad. I mean, the, the bad part is the moving platforms, but I guess that if you get used to them, they are not that bad. Also, I can just jump here, then... Oh, you can't chill there, okay. Okay, I, I get it at least. I'm supposed to do a double jump, probably. And it seems that the best part is gonna be letting that middle platform in place, because otherwise it's probably gonna get harder to, you know, go back. I wonder though about that platform right here, this one. Because normally you will expect, okay, it's gonna move to the right and you're supposed to shun, but that seems too AC. Pretty sure that once I get into that platform, it's just gonna go full speed to the right and I have to shun really fast to avoid getting fucked. It's probably gonna happen, right? I, I can see that happening. I will be kind of disappointed if that wasn't the case. Wow, I had like 10 opportunities to get to the bottom without getting killed and I threw them all to the trash. Nice. There we go, okay. So here's the question, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna go fast? Of course you're gonna go fast, you piece of shit. Well, it, it was a little bit slower than I expected though. I thought that it was gonna go really fast, which is the reason why I preemptively shunned. But, yeah. Wow. 
why did I double shun there? Fuck. <laughs> okay. And I keep preemptively shumping. Because it feels like when you're going at that speed, you're gonna hit the spikes at any time. So it's kinda like your brain tells you shump now if you don't wanna get impaled by the spikes. At the same time, if you do that, <coughs> you're just gonna hit the ceiling and die anyways. So. <laughs> there we go, nice. Platform status low, so it's gonna go fast once I ride it. Probably. Okay. No? Oh, but you have to do this. You have to drop jump. Fuck. Oh, maybe I don't even need to drop jump again. There, I just go to the to the lower one, right? Oh, okay, <clears throat> I'm probably just supposed to use that platform <clears throat> temporarily then. What the hell is happening with my, with my boys? Although, <clears throat> what will happen afterwards if I jump all the way up? Hmm, maybe that platform is gonna go down. Or it's probably gonna move to the left, that's probably what's gonna happen. It's gonna move to the left so I can go to the portal, okay, that's probably what's supposed to happen. Yeah, that's gonna happen. So I have to do that jump really fast. Although after I do that, how do I even get back to that platform okay this seems pretty tight to do it seems like you don't have much time to to think here but i'm pretty sure that after these two mini spikes you're supposed to go to the lower platform because <clears throat> if you don't do that yeah there's no way you can just drop jump and get on the platform again. Oh, actually, maybe you can. Because you can just keep spamming jump button, right? So you still have to kind of like wait for that. Yeah, like I can decide if I should... I can decide if I should take the lower platform on my way forward or on my way back probably on my way unless I'm not sure if I should use it on my way back it's pretty clear that you're not supposed to use it in okay I can use it there but yeah you have to do it really fast at least I know that I can do it you're probably supposed to do that like, not use it at first and use it only on your way back. But you still have to be pretty fast. Yeah, the problem is the spam of the shams there. Because if you spam too much, you're gonna end up doing an unnecessary jump at the end. That's obviously not good, because it makes you waste time. Nice! There we go. Platform status slow. Is this what you call slow? Okay. Is it gonna get faster when I ride them? Oh! Well, look at that. <laughs> Alright, good thing you have a reset button. And this seems even hard to... 
to get into. You're probably supposed to do a double shun. Not like this. <laughs> okay, it seems that getting stuck at the beginning is pretty easy, so you have to avoid that. Okay, you can do it with a normal shun. Oh, okay, okay. I get it. I'm probably not even supposed to jump at the end. I'm just supposed to walk off. The good thing is that I can do only one jump at the beginning. And then she zigzag. I probably should drop champ if I want to get to the other platform, right? Instead of double champing. Although it's... well, with the spikes below it's a little bit hard to drop champ. You're probably supposed to do it. I don't know why I did it the first time. I mean, I did it literally the first try. Okay, yeah, you can drop champ. You have to be careful there. Maybe you need to champ instead of just walk off. Because if you just walk off, you might not make it in time, but if you jump, you don't have to depend on the speed of the platform. Yeah, you probably have to jump. Okay. There we go. You got this? Wait, what? Oh, this is just a really precise jump, right? Oh no, it's just a, a shibate. You had to see that one coming. Kinda. Wait, that was... okay. <laughs> Chip difficulty? Are you warning that one now? That's been going on the whole game. Wait, what? So you move the spike so you can get on the platform. Oh, okay, and then you... Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. It's still a little bit uh, cheap. Yeah, as, as it says, as the narrator says, a little bit cheap that you have iron bars that don't really let you see that well. I mean, I guess the spikes are pretty easy to see even through the iron bars. So it's not that big of a deal. I can't believe I got these two shumps on the first try and now I'm struggling on them. Okay. At least I get it. Get what I'm supposed to do. Although it seems that you have a lot more time than, than you will expect for things like this. Okay, you have to do it way faster than that. That's pretty slow. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, and the good thing is that they even thought about this. Because obviously if you just... Like, you can probably just chill here and let this bounce here to get back here and then you have time to react. But they were smart enough to leave a... A gap there so the platform never comes back. <laughs> nice. And they thought of everything, huh? Probably should save here. Actually not, because for this jump you have to need a little bit more space. Yeah, you're supposed to to have a little bit more space to do that jump. There we go. Feel free to use every extra shump, you probably won't need them. Yeah, okay. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> oh, 
it's probably gonna come yeah obviously that, that was so obvious come on I thought about it midway I, I admit but still oh that's pretty bad okay so basically you have to pick the middle one every time right you have to pick one and then don't pick the other one okay I guess I can do that the problem is that you have to do short hops which aren't exactly easy to do oh I use a lot there okay. doesn't look that hard though like the hardest part is probably this oh and that's gonna be that right there so basically I have to avoid using this one this two and you know half of this and here you can probably should you should probably only use this one okay i got gotcha. you shouldn't be that bad Ah, uh, too low, damn it. Okay. Are you serious? Is there the place that you decide to die? Not before, nor, not after? No, right there. Okay, there you go. The mystery bots does many things. Okay. You're supposed to do a short hop for a double jump there, so you don't hit the ceiling. Still a little bit hard to do, I gotta say. I'm not really fond of mini spikes, if I gotta be completely honest. Holy shit, this first jump is a lot harder than it seems. It might look trivial. I can definitely tell you it's not trivial. Okay, so it warps. Basically, you get here, you warp here, you fall, you get here and you warp here. Okay, gotcha. Still a little bit hard to get used to because you don't keep your momentum though, so you have time to react at least. But still hard. Although I feel like the hardest part about this is the initial jump. It's really the thing that is taking me the most time to assimilate. Basically, left, right, left, and then right, left. Okay. We are constantly zigzagging. Okay. The problem is being fast enough for the last one. Really hard to be fast enough for the last one. There we go, nice. There's something I want to say, but I can't put my finger on it. Oh, it says, oh, hi. <laughs> nice. Okay, this looks a little bit complex. Oh, you have. There's a bottomless pit. Okay. At least this platform doesn't move. But you're probably supposed to get that switch on the left. Probably not now, though. 
So here you're obviously supposed to get the switch on the right. Probably that's what that does is moving the platform, right? So here Fuck. Uh, okay. So let's see what should be the order here. Oh, probably this. Probably that's gonna be easier than than the other thing. And when I say easier, I mean the only possible way, probably. Okay, and you really have to hold your uh, shunt there to wait for the platform. And after that, you have to shunt to press the switch, which I still don't know what that switch will do. Probably remove the spikes below the warp. Oh, you're not supposed to do that. Basically there, you're supposed to hit the switch without jumping, but once you hit the, s the switch, you jump, so you don't fall too fast, so you can wait for the platform. That's the, the idea right there. Yeah, like that, but better. <clears throat> like, that's the idea, but you have to do it a little bit better than that. I'm probably supposed to jump below that block so I'm able to go farther to the left. Okay, yeah, I'm probably supposed to do that. At least if I get to the platform I can chill on the platform to think what to do next. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do there. Okay, so I'm supposed to jump here, but really fast. Yeah, really fast. Fuck. And yeah, it seems that it removes one of the spikes, but it removes the one... ...above the, the warp instead of below. Which is not exactly what I wanted, but it works! So... The question here is when should I jump? Probably preemptively jump. Hmm. Okay, not like that. That's exactly what you don't want to do. Ah, too low, then. <laughs> Okay, that works. So now, supposed to go back up. Probably not like that. Damn it. You're probably supposed to go back up from here, but if you go there, you actually can go up because you have no way. Or actually, maybe you can. S since there's not any spikes, you probably can actually. Okay, never mind. Actually, let's try that. Oh, you definitely can, but you have to be pretty precise to not, uh, you know, hit your head. Yeah, you definitely can. If those spikes are gone, it's not that hard. Damn it. Also, let's not forget, this level is the second 
to last in the third stage. So remember that. Wait, am I gonna start getting killed here? <laughs> That was too too high apparently. I got it right the last time. Just gotta get it right again. Like that, okay. So now I have to jump here. It's pretty hard though. I know that it might look trivial, but jumping in one specific square at that speed is not that easy. Although, it's still a miracle that I can get to the switch every time, but yeah. Okay, well maybe not every time, although I got saved there. Okay. There we go. Okay, so here, probably a double jump, right? Yeah, now... This. Ah, there we go. This called diamond because of the shape it creates inside. I prefer double gay, but whatever. Okay, so we got a diamond. So you're gonna switch this up when I reach the other side, right? Am I supposed to do this with a single jump? Or maybe double jump in the middle? Can I even double jump in the middle? Oh, you can! Okay. And that's a pretty hard jump, holy shit. And even double jumping in the middle seems hard enough. At least it seems that it's literally impossible to do this with a single jump. I feel like... Maybe I can do a double jump at the end, I don't even need to do it at the middle. Maybe I do need to do it at the middle. It's a little bit weird though. It, it feels like you can get to the other side with a single jump, but it's not the case. And it even feels like you can get to the other side without double jumping in the middle. But I'm pretty sure you're supposed to double jump in the middle. Because otherwise... It will feel weird that they will call it diamond. Right? It's a pretty precise jump to do. Basically you have to do two perfect short hops and then press right at the well, at the right time. <laughs> I don't quite get it though. What should be the best way of doing this? Maybe I'm not supposed to double jump in the center, but... Damn, now I can't decide, should I double jump on the center or not? Because if I double jump in the center, it feels like it's pretty similar to not doing it. Because you're still gonna get hit by the, by the spikes on the right. Well, at the very least, we know that this is the last floor of this uh, third stage. So that's good, in a sense. Damn, uh, this is gonna take a lot of that for me to at least figure it out. Well, even if I figure it out, although here's the thing, figuring this out is pretty much beating it, right? Because if you 
figure out what's the right strategy to beat it basically it means that you already beat it because otherwise you can't be sure oh never mind you don't have to now you have to pause on the center and then jump to the right and another F hey Oldo what you were saying 12 hours later I get fucked see that F is from F U just kidding how is it going damn you are one step closer to freedom are you excited but now it's time to put your big boy pants on okay damn even mr tusk is here yeah i want to see you playing this and and see how it goes oh look there are faces when i approach Welcome to stage 4, disregard the creepy faces. Okay. I'm gonna try, though it's not easy. Although I still... Like, why are you still using this shitty grey color everywhere? everywhere? Like, is it the only color in your game maker or whatever? Why don't you... The problem is that... It seems that some platforms... I don't know if they move... Every time? No. Okay. They, they move like... Randomly. Or at least like... Doesn't depend on you. That's what I try to say. So these apparently are called shurikens because, well, I mean, they look like shurikens, right? Possibly the creator had monochromatic daltonism. Well, I mean, he was able to give the switch an orange color, so I guess that he also knew what orange was and also red. But holy shit, dude, like. Why is it so hard to use another color? I get that you're going for this facility looking stages, right? Like this is a high technology facility or whatever shit you have in mind. But like, dude, just, I don't know, you can use a combination of color. Not every facility is gray. Okay, so there is that. Okay. That's a little bit hard. Can, I, I I think I can do that on a in, on a single jump. Yeah. Not only I can do it on a single jump, but I have to do it on a single jump. The problem is that that single jump has to be pretty short. Pretty short jump. Well, short but not short enough because it can be just a short hop clearly fuck it's pretty hard still maybe i can try to double jump like this Probably not. <laughs> the thing is that the distance between the platform and that shuriken is different here than when you are on the other block. Maybe I could practice this jump. Oh, wow. First try. First try that I do it without pressing the switch. And watch me fail afterwards. After getting the switch. At least we know that... It is... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watch me fail. It is indeed a double shump. So it's not a single shump. That's good to know. It's still hard though. Damn. You didn't even get there. Yeah, a lot of grey. Yeah, 
It really seems that whoever made the game doesn't give a shit about presentation. And you know, these are supposed to be a hundred floors, right? Like the game is supposed to be a hundred floors and they are divided into five stages. So this means that this is probably gonna be the second to last stage and even if people told me that this gets visually more interesting later on I'm failing to see so because if this stage is gonna be the same till the end and there's only one stage remaining that might be not this grey shit everywhere Because so far, holy shit, this... Like, the whole thing looks pretty depressive. <laughs> and the music doesn't help, like, so far we got, like, pretty moderately pump music, right? Like, drum and bass. And now we have this shit. So I don't know, dude. It's like... It's like the creator is really making everything in his power wait that didn't work why didn't that work all right i was gonna say that it seems like the creature is doing everything in its power to make you stop playing some shams require you to hug yourself on a specific wall the red lines will guide you uh, okay Sure. Uh, what? I don't get it. Did I miss something on the previous one? Because I don't think that hogging those walls did shit. Unless I'm blind and they actually were switches, but... Okay, yeah, this is... Seems to be a little bit hard. And also, since the gravity is so pronounced here, you're supposed to dodge the first one and then go straight right after you pass the first one. Still pretty hard, though. I'm still curious about those red walls. It's clear that there wasn't a secret there because the narrator didn't glitch. But... Yeah, that's... Also... Wait, I'm an idiot. I should be double jumping probably. Like there, in the middle. Although it's also pretty hard to time the double jump. Obviously not there, but that's what you're supposed to do, okay. And after this... Fuck. Damn, the same thing is on the other side. So you basically have to do this shit twice in a row. Ah, uh, that sucks. <laughs> Damn it. Well, it seems that the other one is less tight. Because, you know, there's no block here where I'm jumping right now. So it means that you have a lot more space to do that. Damn. 
Damn, the dead sound is getting ingrained in my brain right now. Fuck. Wait, if that unlocks... Oh, never mind, one of the spikes removes, okay. Removes itself, that's good. Can I do this with a single jump, or am I supposed to? Okay, well that works too. Wow. I feel dumb for dying there. This jump doesn't look hard, but at the same time it doesn't look easy. It's a pretty tight jump. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Every three columns of 32, 32 times 32 size give the same align. Press F1 to show the alignment, alignment chart. I probably shouldn't press F1, right? Wait, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Should I press F1? Because if F1 does something like resetting my save, I'm gonna be pissed. You know, just in case, I'm gonna back up my save right now. Real quick. Uh, so I don't know what can happen right now. Uh, just in case, since I never backed it up in the first place. Okay, it completed there. So, now that I made the backup, let's see what pressing F1 does. Oh, what? A... Wait, what? I don't get this. Is this a joke that I don't... Like an inside show that I don't get, or what? <clears throat> I didn't get that, and I still don't get the red walls. What are, are they useful for? It's like this game makes less sense the the more I play it. Kappa. <laughs> Damn. Oh, it's pretty tight at the end to try and do that jump without getting fucked. What you're supposed to do here 
is go to the center of that triangle. Okay, that's even a lot more fucked than I expected because that's really, really hard to, to fit. This jump is pretty precise, because there are some times where I feel like I'm doing the same thing, but I'm not. Hmm, okay. Nice, get fucked. Time for a platform adventure and there is an apple. Oh, that's probably gonna be a problem. Okay, so... Yeah, I can see there are quite some platforms. Oh, you're supposed to... Wait, are you supposed to... To fall? Or what? Oh, so you're supposed to ride on the same platform till the end, okay. Gotcha. I'm probably supposed to double sham there, okay. At least I understand. Damn it. That might be the hardest part. And even being the hardest part is not that hard, so... Fucker. You really have to prepare your shum to go to the left. Because otherwise you're just gonna get killed by the right spikes. I forgot about that spike. I'm still curious about those walls. What's the point of those walls? Like, did I miss a secret because of it? Because I don't... I don't really understand what they are supposed to represent. And the narrator is trash. Uh, that, that's something we cannot forget about. The narrator is trash. Because it's trying to copy like this GLaDOS style of, you know, making fun of you and shit like that, but fails miserably. It really fails. I don't... I have the shit it, uh, it says is not even funny. So... This narrator, I gotta say, is pretty shitty. It kinda reminds me of myself, which is kinda neat. It's still trash, especially when you, you know, when you have this kind of design. This gray design with nothing. You will expect that at least with a narrator it will make 
the whole thing a little bit more interesting, but no, it's still trash. And even with the moving squares in the edges of the of the screen. It still doesn't feel alive. Like it definitely doesn't feel like it's alive. It just feels like a monotonous, monochromatic shit. And then again, the platforming is not bad, but when you do when you make, you know, the player do not easy platforming, right? I mean, obviously this is probably not that hard for fun game standards. But the very least, I can tell you that some of these are pretty hard. So, again, if you're gonna make me do all this hard shit, at least you wanna give me the motivation to do it. And honestly, with all this grey shit, the uninteresting narrator and everything else is kind of like... <laughs> not really <laughs> making me wanna beat it. I mean, it's too late already, I'm on floor 66. So it's like... You know, might as well keep going, but... Still pretty dual, regardless. Okay. This is a corner sham, one of the most annoying and uncreative shams you can find. Well, at least the game is, is self aware. And I actually already did one of these at the. like on stage um, 3 secret, I think. Stage 3 secret, basically, to get into the secret, you needed to do a corner sham. Well, that wasn't hard. <laughs> Three fourths. Okay, there is a secret here. Not there. Probably. Well, the good thing is that unless one of these spikes change direction, it seems that it's not in any anywhere near the warp. So that's good. The problem is that I think I know where it is, and if it's where I think it is, it's a pretty annoying uh, place to go. <laughs> I mean, this shit is already annoying to do without trying to find the secret, so... Okay. Like, if I had to guess... I will say that the secret is either here or here. I don't necessarily think that it's gonna be here. Not only because it's not a full block, but also because I feel like this jump is literally impossible to do. This one seems more realistic. I feel like it should be here. So, I'm gonna bet on that.
At least even the narrator recognizes that this kind of spike structure looks like a tree force. Although you might as well do a full spike or a bigger spike. Like with this mini spikes it wouldn't be different than doing a full spike unless the hitbox is different, I don't think it is. There we go, nice. Okay. This is kind of deceiving, right? Because you might think that you that everything you need to do is on this screen. But it's definitely not, because as you can see, the green blocks the green blocks definitely mean that you need to press a switch somewhere else. So, yeah. Damn, that's gonna be hard to do. And once you get to the other side, you have to probably fall. Yeah. I really don't like this kind of platforming that makes you like spam jump on that platform. Oh, we just got 6,000 deaths. Nice. That's a pretty nice amount. Also, there is this shit again. You see that... That color wall right there? Like this one? W why is that there? I, I don't get it. What's the purpose of that? really don't get it, like what's the purpose of that shit? And the narrator did a pretty shitty job explaining it, so... I mean at first you will think that they are kinda like switches, they are definitely not. My problem here is getting over that shuriken. Hmm. I'm probably supposed to directly fall, probably. You really have to spam on that shuriken if you don't want to get hit. Also, I really don't know what purpose those blocks will serve. Like the green blocks. I don't quite get it. Maybe it's gonna make this jump in between these things possible. It's probably already possible, but you will be able to do a double jump afterwards. Yeah, it's probably possible to do that, but you're definitely supposed to do a double jump afterwards. Damn. That's pretty fucked up, I gotta say. Are you fucking serious? I don't even know how far I have to jump there because I don't know what's on the other side. Hmm. 
Hmm. Can't believe I was so close to to doing that. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to yeah do that jump up there and not screw it up. That is. There we go. Damn, no save. Wow. This game is hitting new lows every single time. What am I supposed to do here? Well, I kinda understand. Yeah, I understand. Damn, that was too early. I should have waited a little bit more. But yeah, I understand what I'm supposed to do. So with no saves in between, I can already tell that this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Wow, and you even get hit there, nice. I mean, obviously there's gonna be a save on the way back. That doesn't mean much. Okay, so now I have to do the double jumps there. Wow, and you have to keep going, and there's no save? Please tell me that the, that's at least gonna give me a save. Like, no save in between, like, not at all. I refuse to believe that. I mean, even if this is not necessarily hard... I don't know... Like, I feel like no saves here is a little bit evil... If you ask me... The worst part is that <laughs> the game expects you to know what to expect on the other side, that's the most fucked up part. At least this part isn't that hard. Damn, you have to do pretty short hops right there. Holy fuck, dude. Okay. Wow, the last one is specifically hard. It's probably the way you enter it before it. The one that determines if you can do it or not. Still pretty fucked, but...
I obviously can immediately jump. Like, if you have time to chill, might as well use it, right? I don't get how to do that last one. Oh, I get it, actually. You're supposed to... Okay, it might not be obvious, but... Or maybe it is, but... You're supposed to be here. Uh, like, this game over thing is blocking it. You're basically supposed to be here, then double jump. <coughs> and on your way up, you have an additional jump that you can use to get to the other side. Okay. Obviously, the problem is being able to plant that in the middle of the air. So yeah, that might be a problem. Or at least you can see that after getting the golden spike you get straight to the to the warp, which means that it's gonna be over. <laughs> but it's still uh, a little bit hard to get. That's the problem. If you do it straight, without waiting, it might get a little bit hard. Okay. Oh, you definitely can do it regardless. <clears throat> Damn, I'm losing my voice. Not only am you, I'm losing my my brain cells playing this, but I'm also losing my voice. And this is pretty hard to do. Because you can even get time to chill. Actually, probably the best idea there is to not pick up anything. Any of the arrows to be able to analyze the level with every arrow in it and then once you have a clear strategy then I guess you can attempt it because doing that without a clear strategy might be a mistake Wow, I can't even get to the other side, okay. <laughs> nice. Noise. And this elevator, or well, I guess I should say moving platform, is a lot more, s like, it's a lot slower than I, I would like to, <laughs> definitely. So let's do this, right? Let's die here so we can see what's the best course of action. So normally here, you will come jumping like this. So you will be on your way down. You can probably wait a little bit, like fall 
around here to do a double shump so you can pick this on your way up and doing that will probably make you land here if you do that you can do a double shump here okay and basically be able yeah because right now it seems that the mistake that I'm doing is trying to do this right shump here then shump here and obviously doing that isn't helping at all they are pretty much like supposed to pick this up the problem see here's the thing the problem is that if you're supposed to pick this up on your way down and then shunt the real problem is that you're not seeing this all the time you basically come from the other uh, the previous like screen and you can't really calculate this until you're already there so yeah it gets really hard and even if you do manage to to do that jump here, if you do it too low, you won't be able to get to the other one. So yeah, it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a problem. I feel like that's the kind of shit that you just can't split into two screens. That's just way too evil. I shump too high, but yeah, that's the plan. Basically, wait a little bit until you do the shump. Too low, like so low that I actually hit those spikes that I thought weren't even a, a threat, but I guess they are if you're dumb enough or if you're bad enough. No, 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 from here. Nice. Nice, and we got a save. That's exactly what I wanted. Now I'm relieved. Because... Wait. Oh. The save disappears. But, uh, you know, once you get it once, I guess you don't... You don't need it again. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's fine. Wait, what? Oh, you're not supposed to go here. You're supposed to go down. Okay. Sometimes when you spam it like that, it's... Wait, what? Oh, you probably need to drop <coughs> Shump from there. You're probably s supposed to stay on the platform, right? Which will make things a little bit harder. And I like how I can see the, the blue arrows appear for a pretty brief uh, moment before they disappear.
Oh, you can land there. Okay, and you're supposed to continue, so there. When you get there, obviously the platform bounces, which is actually good. Because that means that if it bounces, you can chill on the green platform up there. Although those champs are definitely not gonna be that easy, but they don't seem that hard either. Honestly, the hardest champ right here seems to be this one. And I don't know if I should trust the save button right here. Like, the problem with that save button is that I'm afraid that it might reset the whole thing. Hopefully not. But even if it does that, it wasn't that hard to get here, so I wouldn't mind doing it again. Honestly, if this secret is as easy as I think it is, then this is probably the easiest secret. Which is pretty fucked up, the fourth secret being the easiest one. And maybe the first two being the hardest one. I mean, I still haven't seen the fifth one, but... Wow, like, this is some pretty unbalanced difficulty. <laughs> Holy shit. Although, again, I haven't picked up the fourth secret yet, so I can't really uh, judge this yet. But, so far, it's not looking that hard. that I'm struggling with this jump. Fuck! Damn it. Yeah. I, I lose control there, but yeah, what you're supposed to do there is just wait until the platform bounces and then jump on the, on the upper green uh, block. So you're supposed to do a drop sham there, but it has to be really tight. And then after that, another drop sham. That doesn't look pretty easy to do. And then another drop sham. Actually, no, the last one seems to be a, sh a normal sham and then a double sham at the end. Okay. And if that save button is the shit. Then basically, and it actually doesn't reset your progress, then holy shit, this is definitely the easiest secret so far, if that's the case. Let's not forget that we are not sure still. So not judging until it's over. I'm still jumping too, too faster. Problem is that I'm afraid that if I don't jump soon enough, like I might uh, get hit by the spikes below, which is obviously why that part is difficult in the first place. But yeah, <laughs> not fast enough, damn it. But yeah, these platforms are also pretty buggy. Which is the reason, like, it's the idea that they are buggy, so you can kind of do the, like, that weird double jump when you hit them, but I'm not a really big fan of that. Because it really feels pretty buggy.
Damn it, I thought I wasn't gonna make it, so I jumped. <laughs> Big mistake. Hey, the good thing is that at least these green blocks have a color that is other than gray. That's pretty nice. It's still dual, but... Damn. That's when the part that I did a, a pretty short hop that was short enough to not get to the platform, damn it. can get the middle ground, huh? That. <laughs> I guess the, the hardest part here is this platform because of how buggy it is. But other than that, although it seems that saying how easy it is is shinsing it, it's shinsing it because <laughs> taking a lot longer than I probably should in this section that isn't really that hard. enough damn it seems that every time that I don't go down I over jump but the way like the time that I wait, I, I went down, I actually did the shortest hop that I could do. Like holy shit, that's getting pretty unlucky. Yeah, it seems that this is what happens when you talk and say that one section is easy. You start getting fucked. Because let's be real, this section is easy. But yeah, it seems that the shins is real. I swear this part is not hard. I'm just struggling because I'm an idiot, but this part is definitely not hard. Damn, too late again. I mean, I could wait for the block to come back. That will be a pretty long time waiting. Uselessly too. Yeah, 
that's what I feel is the problem when you get this this kind of glitchy platform jumping as a feature it just doesn't work out at least to me I mean I feel like a glitch will always be a glitch and never a feature and honestly this feature of platform jumping it's pretty shitty It kind of reminds me of save jumping in Boshi, right? But the difference is that at least Boshi understood how shitty it was and it only used it like three times in the whole game. But this... This is using... This game is using this platform jumping a lot. A lot more than it should. Hey Autogrill, who is it going? You know, I'm right here dying a lot, but that's kinda common in this stream after all. And for, you know... When it comes to I wanna be the guy games, it's always the case, you always die. A lot, you never stop. I can't do that jump, I can't believe it. That jump isn't even hard and I can't do it. Not playing insane boss game, you killed the boss already? Yeah, I did. That was basically the last boss that I needed to kill uh, before like beating the whole game. So yeah, I'm pretty much done with Boshi because I did everything that I wanted to do. Well, everything that there is to do. I mean, there are some achievements, but uh, nobody cares about the achievements anyways. I mean, they are bugged for the most part, so even if you wanted to care about them, they are a buggy mess. Sometimes they get detected, sometimes they don't, so why even worry about them? But yeah, Boshi is over. And it was an amazing experience. And this is kind of like, you know, all of these games are I wanna be the guy uh, fun games. Which basically means that they are gonna be really hard. That's kind of like the common denominator that a lot of this game uh, have, which is being as hard as they physically can. And this one in particular is focused on platforming a lot. It has no bosses, no bosses whatsoever. The only thing you have is pure platforming. And well, that might sound easy, I can assure you it's not. Although this level in particular that you're seeing right here it's definitely not as hard as a lot of other sections in the game. Definitely doesn't feel as hard. As though, although I'm dying a lot. I'm dying definitely a lot, but... But yeah. There's been part of these games where... They were really, really hard. And... It took a long time to beat them. This one might not really be the case, but... You can still see that it's pretty hard. <laughs> Regardless of how easy compared to the other ones it is. But yeah. Damn it. But yeah. Basically my plan right now is playing a lot of these fun games, although this one in particular 
is disappointing me a lot so far. And not because of the difficulty, right? Like that, that's the least of the worries that this game has. The worst part about this specific game is that everything is grey. Like literally the level design, the visual design of the game, it's so bland that it makes Street Fighter V look interesting. Like, look at this. Everything here is grey. And you might be thinking, oh, but that's just this level. No, every single level so far has been grey. Every single level has been grey. It's insane. But yeah. I mean, I know that they are going for the, you know, research facility look, right? Like, the fact that you are in a in a secluded area that is used for experiments so you're kind of like in this gray shaped world but honestly you can do better than this <laughs> and it seems that the creator didn't give a shit so they just went with yeah let's make everything gray everything the platforms the borders the spikes, even the background. Let's make everything gray. Why not? So yeah, I mean, obviously here you can see some green blocks, but this kind of blocks are the exception. You normally don't see this kind of stuff. So yeah. <laughs> In any case, that's just me complaining about the visual appeal of the game. Although the rest isn't that bad, right? Like the rest, when it comes to the mechanics itself, like the the game itself is not bad, but yeah, when you have something as hard as this, you really want some nice looking visuals to make you company, right? Because otherwise, it's kind of like, what's your motivation to beat the game, right? If everything's gonna be, like, uninteresting looking. But yeah. Uh, it seems that that's the case. And I guess the reason why it surprises me the most is because this is regarded as one of the best fun games apparently like uh, like a lot of people that have bought for this game because you know the the fun games of I wanna be the guy have a website where all, all of these fun games are hosted right so in that way website you can see the rating and the difficulty right the difficulty of this game is kind of like above average I guess you could say or maybe average depending on how you see it but when it came to ratings it was like one of the most rated ones right like it had pretty good ratings and I can see why because when you compare this to something like Boshi like this has nothing Like, the quality of this game is nothing like Boshi. Like, with Boshi you could see a lot of variety, a lot of, you know, different worlds, different bosses, right? You know, when I say bosses, I don't mean necessarily the fact that they are bosses, but I mean the fact that they look different between each other, right? You had all these pretty l al alive backgrounds, like the background felt alive, you could see the clouds moving, you could see all of that, you know. This game, though, has none of that. <laughs> so it's kind of like, I, I still don't understand why this is rated so high. Like, w maybe I'm gonna get surprised at the end. I can tell you that apparently I already passed the halfway of the game. So there's not that much left, as far as I know. So I don't think I'm gonna get surprised by whatever is left. So 
so yeah I'm still kind of like surprised by the fact that this is a high rated fan game when it just looks like a generic you know spike fest I can't do that jump I can't believe it I keep struggling with that jump but yeah that's the game pretty much what about you though who has it been? You still playing Street Fighter 4? So it really feels like saying that this part was easy really shins me. Because now I'm not even getting close to beating this part. <laughs> Damn it. This is kind of what happens when you... When you say that something is easy. And you kind of like let your guard down, right? When that happens... that happens it seems that you should die a lot a lot like a lot so I guess that's a good lesson for nest if there is an easy part or a easy looking part I should keep my mouth shut to avoid shinsing myself This feels like a pretty hardcore shins. Basically saying saying how easy this part was over and over. And I keep saying it because I feel like this part is way easier than like a lot of the rest of the game. But yeah. I still keep dying, so it might not be that easy after all. Damn, dude. Okay, there we fucking go, finally, okay. But it's not over yet, I have to do this jump. And I didn't do it. Nice. Actually, I wonder that, you know, after you get here, I wonder if I can do a high jump here and go this way instead of trying to get the save from here. Because getting the save from here doesn't look that easy. I think I can, right? I probably can do something like this and then a double... Mm, I might get hit by this, which might be bad. But I could try. Wow.
things. That jump is pretty hard to do though. At least I, it seems that I'm getting a little bit more consistent on that jump in the middle. So that's pretty nice. It's still a hard sham, it seems that that's the hardest part and probably the reason why they put a save in there because the very last jump right at the end it's pretty hard to do so it will probably be a pain in the ass to try and do that after you do all this shit of them kinda surprised that the game is that considerate all of the sudden, <laughs> but you know, not complaining. Damn, that jump sucks, holy shit. That jump is trash. Come on, dude. It seems that that jump right there is pretty... pretty tight, too. So you can, you don't really need to do a, a full shunt, you can just do a, like a short hop and then a double shunt and it will probably work. The problem is that you can do a drop shunt, which is probably what you would like to do there, but now you can do that. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get to the left. I don't think I can do it, but I wanna try. Oh, you actually can, nice, okay. So I wonder if this save is actually gonna save the state of the blocks, because if I have to do all this shit all over again... Boy. Okay, it actually saves the state of the blocks. But this is still pretty hard to do, because what you're supposed to do here is get in between this diagonally and then do a double jump at the end. It's a pretty hard jump, like, I definitely can understand why why they put the save there, because it's really hard, but... Sometimes... Well, yeah, I guess it's really, really hard to do, so... Well, good shit, like, the game being considered once Something that you don't normally see. Although this looks like it's gonna be a complete pain in the ass. I did it once though, so that's nice. I mean, obviously I did it once without having a double shunt. But now that I have the double shunt, it shouldn't be that hard to do it. You really have to be incredibly precise to do it. Yeah, now I can definitely, I can definitely see why they put the save there. <laughs> Cause holy shit. Okay. 
I also still don't know what that red wall does. Definitely don't understand. But so far it doesn't seem like it does anything useful. So who cares? <laughs> I wonder who I got in this gap the first time I did it. Because it's looking pretty hard to do it again. <laughs> Seems like I'm dying right at the end. Uh, sorry, not right at the end, right in the middle. I mean, sometimes I die right at the beginning, right? But some more times I should die at the middle. I can't do much. Maybe if I just drop like this instead of jumping, that's probably gonna be even harder, right? Although it seems like it is doable, but really, really hard. It's gonna take a lot of deaths, I just wanna say that. And who will have known that? Only one shump was gonna be this hard. I literally choose one shump, and you know what's the worst part about this? Is that once you get past all of that, you have to react fast enough to do the double shump and not get killed by the spikes below. Maybe I can... no, definitely can. And I'm... Not sure if I'm supposed to jump. I think I am, because it doesn't feel possible to just drop. This is really insane though. The good thing is that if you get tired of doing this over and over again, you can just walk to the left and beat the, the following level. I really don't understand what this wall is supposed to be doing. It seems like it doesn't do shit. There's also that F1 key that I still don't know what the fuck it does. I mean, yes, it it puts letters on the squares in the screen. That doesn't really tell me shit. So I kinda lost. I also really wonder why it's taking me so long to do this after I basically did it in just a couple of attempts the first time. <laughs> Like the first time that I didn't have the double shunt. But still. Maybe it was easier to do from that perspective than this one. <laughs> Holy shit. The amount of deaths... It's gonna skyrocket so fast because of this. I really don't know what to do. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but... I don't think I am. I'm just supposed to... Do this from like the very edge. <laughs> We're gonna be hearing that dead sound a lot, let me tell you that. I'm still surprised why I'm not able to do this. Maybe that wall is more important than I thought. That red wall, that doesn't seem to say shit. 
Then again, there is this F1 thing that I still don't understand. You think only running without jumping you had more possibilities? Okay. I still don't understand this. W what is this supposed to mean? Like, apparently, see, now I'm A, right? And once I hit the wall, I'm C. What the fuck does that even mean? Really don't get it. <laughs> like... The narrator is trash, so he didn't explain shit. But yeah, I don't think this has anything to do, right? Wow, it might... Wait, what? Wait a second. That... So, for those who might not understand what happened there. Basically, I hit the wall. Okay, let me display this. So you see, right here you have all these letters. And apparently those red walls, once you hit those red walls, if you hit them in one of these letters, the letter of, of the character is gonna change to the letter that the wall is in. For whatever reason, that basically let me go all the way through that spike section. I don't understand why or really what this is supposed to do. I don't understand. The narrator, as I say, is a piece of trash, so he didn't explain shit. But damn, this is so fucking weird. So that's w the reason why the walls are useful. But I still didn't understand. Yeah, it's pretty weird, right? Even Aldo agrees that this is insanely weird. I, I, I don't get what... The creator was smoking when he did that mechanic, but I really don't understand what it's supposed to do. Wait, it says the first jump is called an F jump. I had to use two signs to show why. Oh. Well, I understand, but what are you trying to say? This jump is called an F jump. You really aren't saying much, honestly. Honestly, this narrator is trash. Can we agree on that? This narrator is a piece of trash. Sorry if the narrator is a self-insert of the creator. But it's trash. It's just trash. <laughs> like, it doesn't tell you shit. And it's not even funny when he tries to make fun of you, so he doesn't even have that going on for him. The worst part is that I have to jump to the left, not to the right. So, wh what the fuck are you trying to say here? Yes, that I'm supposed to diagonally jump, and then what? I mean, yes, obviously I'm supposed to diagonally jump, but <laughs> why would that be called an, an F jump? What, what's the point? Maybe I have to short hop? Okay. Yeah, you're supposed to short hop and then double jump on the highest part. It's still pretty hard to do, but I don't get why it's called an F jump. Like, yes, I understand there is an F on the sign there. That doesn't tell shit about it. Well, I guess they didn't have much ways of representing it other than that, so... But it's still pretty hard to do. You basically have to do a short hop, and then... 
double jump at the mat's height. <laughs> wow, nice. So you have to get out of there pretty fast. Yeah, th this game is holy shit. Like, if. I remember you all the telling me that Boshi was like. You know, that game that hated you, right? Like, the game completely hated you. And when I say you, I mean the player, right? It hates the player. But holy shit, this game. As I always say, it's not giving me any reason to beat it. Other than, well. I'm already on floor 69, by the way, nice number, but yeah, like that's the only reason, I'm, I'm already like probably two thirds into the game, so there's no reason not to end it here, uh, not to end it, I mean not to beat it, right? But holy shit, the game doesn't give you any reason to beat it. <laughs> It's like the game is begging you to stop playing every single time. And I'm, you know, hard-headed enough to not stop, I guess. Also, I wanted to say, that secret on this world, like the, the War 4 secret, was easier than every previous floor. Uh, sorry, every previous stage. Every previous secret on the previous stage was harder than the fourth one. So, saying that, basically I'm trying to say that the difficulty is really unbalanced. Like, why will you do that? Why will you make the fourth secret easier than the previous three ones? It doesn't make any sense. You wouldn't play this game at all? Well, I don't blame you. I mean... I also wouldn't play it if I knew that it was gonna be like this all the time. It's really one of those games that... That really makes you not wanna play it again. Also, damn, I have to do another one of these. And I couldn't, obviously. It's gonna suck. You have to do four, uh, sorry, two uh, F champs in a row. That's pretty hard. I mean, it's already hard enough to do one. So you can tell that it's pretty hard to do two in a row. And something that I also really wanna, you know, repeat is how trash the music is. Well, not that it's trash, maybe I went a little bit overboard there, but how uninteresting the music is. I feel like the only interesting piece of music was that first stage one, which was an ABBA remix, and then the drum and bass uh, music on stage two, I think. Then everything else has been just as uninteresting as the game. It's so hard to consistently do this piece of shit jump. It's basically a short hop. And a pretty fucked up jump afterwards. I still haven't been able to do it on this side. And this is gonna take a long time. Also, again, what kind of explanation is this? Like, might as well just shut up and don't say, don't try to explain it. If you are going to explain it like this. I mean, the only good thing about this is that it explains why it's called an f -shamp. But it doesn't explain how to even do it. You have to figure that out for yourself. Whatever. What I'm trying to say is that I really don't like this game. But, you know. I think I already said it enough time.
Yeah, exactly. The narrator tests and the uh, and the frames don't tell you shit. Yeah, like <laughs> to the creator, this is probably like the tutorial for this chump. This is barely a tutorial. Okay, it worked there. Okay, so maybe I'm supposed to chump from the very edge to do to be able to do it. Well, that's still pretty fucked up. Wow. But then again, the game might not be that good, but that's not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is that apparently the fan game community thinks that this is a good game. That's the problem. That's the most worrying part. Because if this is a good game, then what about the rest, right? <laughs> if this passes as a good game, I don't know what the rest is gonna say. <laughs> And it's even funnier when you remember how many people talk shit about Boshi for not using standard physics. Who gives a shit if it uses the standard physics or not? I mean, this game uses the standard physics and it's pretty far from being good, at least in my eyes. You don't really see it being a bad game. But you see that for something, for someone that is a fan. <laughs> Sorry. Even for someone who is a fan, something like this just feels. I mean, for someone who is a fan, I'm pretty sure there are way better examples of a fan game than this. I mean, obviously, when you played a lot of fun games, you start running out of them, so maybe games like this help you to not run out of fun games to play. You you will be right there. But I feel like sometimes... <laughs> you know... It's not really... A good thing, right? <clears throat> Maybe sometimes it's better to run out of games than having something like this. Also, watch the next, the next uh, floor, like the floor after this, be way easier than this one. That's just how unbalanced the difficulty is too. You know how much the physics will change uh, comparing it to the guy or Boshi, but at least you see that the shumps are more precise. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I guess you could say that the shumps can be more precise, but at the same time, I feel like they are not necessarily satisfying, right? Like, for example, in Boshi, it felt like in Boshi every shump you did had weight. In this game, though, which is the one that has standard physics, I don't know, I feel like my shumps are pretty floaty. Like, they don't feel like actual shumps. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm too used to Boshi, but... Really, the, the shumps here are just... I don't know. 
they are obviously not bad, but I don't feel like they are necessarily... Wow, well, I... F they are necessarily the best, right? So this F champ sucks, let me tell you that. I think that's a little bit obvious by now, but and to think that I was so close to <laughs> to do this in the, my previous attempt where I got to the right side. Holy shit, now that champ is costing me... Oh, for fuck's sake... I don't find a, a consistent way of doing this shams. Just the worst part. I mean, sometimes I do them, sometimes I don't. I don't really know what I'm doing that is allowing me to to do them. They are really precise and pretty annoying too. Like, I will take corner shams over this. Corner shams are definitely more interesting. And apparently, according to the creator, they are really annoying. But what about this? You <laughs> know, if there's something that screams annoying more than this, I don't know. Yeah, the biggest problem is having to do this twice in a row. That's the worst part. I kind of want to beat this because, you know, I'm uh, about to end the stream, but I wanted to beat this floor first, but it seems that I have to leave this floor for the next stream because if I try to end this before ending the stream, it's gonna take a pretty big amount of time. Because holy shit, this is hard. I still can't figure out if the best way to do this is hitting my head like that and instantly double jumping afterwards. Or if I should short hop and then do it. Not entirely sure. If only this tutorial actually told you how to do it. It's actually making my hand hurt too. Thank you. 
Yeah, sometimes hitting the, the ceiling actually allows you to to perform it. But it has to be really precise. Uh, you have to immediately sh afterwards be able to jump. So I feel like the strategy of doing the short hop might, might be more doable than this. Definitely. Shit. Yeah, it seems like the short hop strategy might be a little bit better. I don't know how much better, but it seems that I can get it more consistently by doing a short hop instead of hitting my head in the roof. Even doing that jump is hard. It's really fucked up. I just want to get this stage, or floor, or whatever it's called. Like, if I can get this floor, I can end the stream happily. It seems like I can't, so I may need to end the stream regardless. Pretty hard to not do a drop jump even sometimes. See, if you think this is annoying to watch, imagine how annoying it is to play. <laughs> yeah, you can get an idea. Oh, damn it, almost. The worst part is that once I do that jump, I have to correctly do the other one that goes to the warp. this F shams come from. I honestly don't know. But whoever created them is a piece of trash. Because obviously I don't think they were created in this game. But holy shit, they are so hard to do. Maybe I'm just dumb, but they just feel incredibly hard to do. Which is the reason why this floor requires to do two in a row. My head. 
can is starting to hurt. That's the problem. <laughs> Especially with something like this, you have to retry so many times. Fucker. No, I think I have to leave this for the next stream because if I keep going like this, I'm gonna be streaming for a long time and I have to stop. Yeah, it seems that it's gonna be better to leave this for the next stream. What a piece of shit though. This floor is... It's so stupidly hard that it's it's just a, uh, like a lot to do. Getting rid of all my patience. And I have a lot of patience for this game. No, it might not look like it with all the shit that I've been talking. I have a lot of patience for this game. But shit like this is really what makes me lose my patience pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. It's kind of like I have to take a moment to like just chill because otherwise I really things like this really make me want to break something in half. It's just insane, dude. Holy fuck. Oh, you piece of shit. Not only... Like, it, it doesn't even want you to do only one. It wants you to do two in a row. Two of these shits in a row. Can you believe that? Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but it's not like there's too many ways of doing this. <laughs> like, it's not like you have countless ways of trying this jump. Like, there are many ways that you can try this. And then there is a thing that if you try to do it too much to the edge, the risk of drop jumping is a lot. I look at it, this is actually a drop jump. That's a drop jump. So it's insanely precise. It's so precise that it makes me sick. You know what, fuck this shit, for today, or for this stream at least. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna rest a little bit because my hands really are not feeling that good with all this shit. So, yeah, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna end the stream, but I'm probably gonna stream again later today. I might stream later today. It's the most possible outcome. And yeah, if that happens, I hope I can beat this section in less than an hour, at least. Because this is the kind of shit that I can see and feel like it's gonna take a pretty long time. I hope that that long time doesn't uh, goes over an hour, but you know, we will see. In any case, thanks everyone a lot for watching. And I'll be seeing you on the next stream, again, probably in two and a half hours. That's probably where I'm gonna stream again. So, take care everyone.